What's up everybody and welcome back to Mob and Odie. Uh so we're just gonna start our G2 right now. What we're gonna be doing is Bari Dungeon. I am in the exact same spot as I left off in the last episode. Um I have not moved and it is literally like ten minutes later. <laughs> so um let's go ahead and get started. Lots of these dungeons are pretty short and pretty simple. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing G2 before G1 is because G2 is actually a lot easier. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I am not sure how many floors this dungeon is. Um, let me actually change some settings here. Game. Um, don't want PvP. Someone's finished automatically. Skip cutscenes. What else? Um, Alright, well, I wanted to change my range of vision because everything's looking really dark for some reason, but um, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Cause look at this, like, look how dark everything is. Oh well. I guess it kind of is a dungeon, so I, I suppose it's appropriate. But it's a little bit annoying. And we are just kind of breezing through this. Not too bad. So, trans is really useful. Um, and I want to get it kind of as soon as possible. And that's also another reason for doing G2 first. Um, and also, I just don't think we can handle the final of G1 right at the moment. And I could, I could easily do G1 in a day. So that's why, um, why I'm kind of hesitating. Um, because if it was going to take a couple days, then I'd... I'd get up a exponential amount more of levels, but uh, since it's not going to take long, that's why I'm hesitating now instead of when I actually reach the final. And we're actually almost to boss already. The boss is just going to be some kobold miners. Um, which I, I can one hit him. But uh, they do quite a bit of damage if you if you don't have much health or protection.
There's an event coming out actually today that's uh, uh, Independence Day event and I was looking up the rewards and it doesn't really give any good ones so I don't think I'm going to be doing it. I might I might just for the sake um, of other people who are interested in it and go ahead and do it like once and put it on the channel but um, I, I'm not going to be doing it. I'm really on my own. And last one. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and exit. You see, my view, my view distance out here is really well, but uh, not in the dungeon. No, I guess I already had that mana tunnel, didn't I? Alright, and let's see what our next test is. Math dungeon. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. This isn't uh, too interesting. I know that, but um, oh, this is only one floor. That's good. It's gonna say math dungeon is like super long. I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take. And I seem to be lagging a little actually, uh, which is not good. Not good at all. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to talk about in the generations. It's all pretty straightforward, pretty simple. All you got to do is follow the quest. Now this part, uh, we actually don't want to attack. We want all the paladins and training to die, and that'll end the, um, the mission or whatever. the uh, dungeon I suppose or well we'll keep going but um uh, for this part you just let the paladins and training die you can't defeat uh, Rari I think now we have to talk to the bard, yes. Uh, Neely? Nail? I don't know. This game, man. <laughs> oh, gosh.
All right, so now we have to talk to Price. Um, I'm actually going to end the episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and next time I see you, I will be at Price. So I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.